Are you ready? Part 2. Let's watch. Terá Jennifer decidido o que estudar finalmente? Vejamos que conselhos Dr. Allen deu a ela. So now that you've decided to become a, uh, a lawyer, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I want to continue studying photography. Actually, I'm buying a new camera tomorrow. I can't wait. I love taking pictures. So you like taking pictures? Yeah, I really do. I'm having a party at my house this Saturday. All my friends are coming, and I'm going to take pictures of all of them. It sounds like you're very interested in photography. Well, in fact, I think I'd prefer to work outdoors. My mom is always in the courtroom, and you know, she's probably always bored. So you like the outdoors? Yeah, I do. I see, you're right. I think I'm definitely taking photography classes. Yes, I'm sure. I'll become a photographer and I'll travel around the world taking pictures. It's obvious you prefer photography. Wow, Dr. Allen, you're the best. Thank you so much for showing me the way. Well, that's what I do. Que sorte que teve Jennifer. O Dr. Allen finalmente a ajudou a tomar uma decisão. Sigamos agora com a sessão Let's Talk. Let's Talk. Conversation Fillers. Veremos agora algumas palavras ou frases que têm a função de preencher espaços em um diálogo para que a conversa tenha continuidade. São usadas, por exemplo, para iniciar uma conversação. Veja estes exemplos. So... So, where do you see yourself in a couple of years? So, what are we doing this weekend? Well, well, I want to study photography. Well, I'm not sure if I'm ready for the test. Também podemos usá-la para explicar algo ou agregar informação. Actually, in fact, I want to study photography. Actually, I'm buying a camera tomorrow. I was very busy yesterday. In fact, I didn't even have time to eat. You know. Well, you know, my mother is a lawyer. Sailing can be dangerous, you know. I mean... Yeah, I mean, I can understand why she's angry. I mean, the food could be better. Também podemos usar expressões que ajudam a suavizar o que queremos dizer. Observe estes exemplos. Kind of. Her hairstyle is kind of weird, isn't it? A bit, a little. This exercise is a bit difficult for me. Yeah, I'm a little tired. I guess. I guess we're not done with the project. Também existem expressões que são usadas para enfatizar o que queremos dizer. Actually. I'm actually very worried. I'm actually leaving in the afternoon. Really. I really think we should invite him. I really need to talk to him. Você já aprendeu frases suficientes para manter o ritmo de uma conversação. Assim, vamos seguir agora com a sessão Grammar File. Grammar File. Simple present, present continuous, going to future. Como já vimos em unidades anteriores, o futuro em inglês pode ser expressado de diferentes maneiras. Está lembrado? Uma das formas de falar no futuro é usando o tempo presente simples para falar sobre ações futuras relacionadas a horários estabelecidos ou itinerários. Os verbos geralmente usados com esse tempo verbal para expressar a ideia de futuro são os seguintes. Arrive, 
leave, open, close, start, begin, finish. Vejamos alguns exemplos. The game starts in 20 minutes. The movie finishes at 6:30. Também se usa o presente contínuo com frases que indiquem tempo futuro. Observe estes exemplos. They're having a party tonight. Are you traveling tomorrow? What courses are you taking next year? I'm going to the mall on Saturday. Para nos referirmos a planos para o futuro que já tínhamos pensado antes de falar, vimos que se usa o auxiliar going to. I'm going to buy a car next month. We're going to move to Florida next year. Where are you going to spend your vacations? I'm going to paint my house next weekend. Chegou o momento de escutar o diálogo completo. Clique agora em Are You Ready? Play All!